it's Whitney and today I'm going to be doing a very requested video DIY tailor necklace and bracelet this video was requested by this person or these people right here and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed already you should hit that subscribe button wherever it is it's like over there without further ado let's get on with the video I'm sorry for any background noise you may or may not. So first step is to just cut the cardboard into um, any shape you want. You can do a heart. I'm gonna do a heart. You can do a circle. I'm just gonna cover it with white paper now. Now that you have covered the heart, I left the back because it's kind of cute how it's green. The back's green, the front is white, but you can cover whatever you want. You can even use colorful paper. So now I'm just going to take my picture and I'm just gonna flip the heart over like this and just like trace. So I have the Sharpie. Now the heart, cut it out. Now we're just going to glue it on with the hot glue. Now that I have put this on, I just went ahead and cut the edges off that were hanging over the edge. And then there was also this little green piece right here, so I just go ahead, went ahead and cut that off. Now we're gonna make the edges look really cute. Like, take a really, really thin piece of paper. So it depends how thick your cardboard is, because we're gonna be covering the edges of the cardboard. So this is what my necklace charm thing looked like when I was done putting the paper on the edges. It looks really, really good. It's so cute, it's, it adds a lot. So we're gonna cut the ribbon in half some hot glue and just attach it to the back so it's like going out now take your other one and do the same thing then we are done it's so so cute this is optional but so i'm just gonna go ahead take some tape and make it gloss look at the beautiful necklace it turned out so so cute i love it i love it i love it so i just tied it around my neck it's long so you can just go off and then you know on and it's just like really good quality actually it's waterproof it has paper on the edges it looks professional so cute so yes i am wearing a different shirt uh, i'm just wearing this plain black one because this is the next day because I had to go somewhere, so I'm telling you it's the next day, which is today. I skipped two steps without you, but you guys will know how to do it when I tell you to. Just take a piece of cardboard like this, and then you can cut it into whatever shape you want. I did a rectangle and then cut the ed four of, all four of the edges off, and then I took the tailor picture, and then I just traced on the back where I want to have it to cut the picture out. Now I'm just gonna cut the picture out. Now it fits perfectly and we can just hot glue the picture down i just went ahead and glued it on and as you can see there's some green over the edges so now we're just gonna go ahead and cut that off and so looks like this it just has the beautiful tailor on it we're gonna take some plastic you know that you take from like sheet protector it looks better it's more shiny and it doesn't have the lines that the tape leaves so obviously we don't want to put hot glue on the picture because that would look kind of weird so we're just gonna hold the picture up to it. So there's hot glue right there. Now fold the plastic over, and then it's gonna be on that side, so it's like, you know. So it's glued on, and it's perfect on the front, like it doesn't have any glue on the front. So now we're gonna go ahead and take the ribbon. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half. One side of the ribbon, so I put some glue there. One side of the ribbon right here. And the finished product. It's really pretty. After five minutes of struggles, we got it on. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment down below what videos I should do next. I know I already have two videos I have to film. One is a collab and one is a... DIY. So I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!